Hi everyone, so today in this video I will tell you how to write a PHP script which accepts students basic information on first page or next page accepts marks of 6 subjects and print the mark sheet with all information on the third page and using session. So first of all we have to write an HTML then PHP and third also PHP and then using form actions we will come uh, connect them and and by using session we will access the values given on the first page so here i will write form action the name of the student 2.php the name of the second file so let it be student 2 the first one would be student 1 and we will write the third one's name as student 3 so it will be easier for us to identify them so we also have to write the method so method equals to post okay so now what values we have to insert is name plus students email id and mobile number Oh, uh, I forgot about the roll number, so let me just write it above. So, roll number. Okay. So, in each of them, we have to write input type text and then we have to give a name to it so that we, we can access this variable on the next page. So, input type text text and name equals to any variable name you like for example a1 a2 p1 p2 so let me just write here as p1 then we, ha we have to write input type text for all of this so input type text let us say name as p r n o this name as p name so that it will be convenient for us to access it so P R N O okay double quotes type close input type text input type type equals to text and name as let us say P class P class okay for email I read also input type equals to text and name equals to P email so input type equals to text and name equals to p, p email and for mobile number also we have to write the same so mobile number input type equals to text and name equals to let us say p m n o mobile number so equals to p m n o okay so now we have to make a submit button over here on the page so input type equals to submit input type equals to submit and then let us say on the button we will write go to next page or proceed to next page so let us say value equals to go to next page go to next page and then we will close the form body and html so form close over here then we will close the body and we will close the html ok save this is the first one so I'm gonna write student1.html ok all files and then we will select a name as student1 and then extension as .html html ok save now we will go to the next one student2.php ok now first of all we have to start the php so less than question mark php 
session start so that it will resume the previous session session start starts a new session or it resumes the previous one so now i have to get the values from the previous page so let us write dollar session so that we would get the values of the session variables so and then we will write dollar underscore post so that we would get the global variable from the form that we inserted from the user back in the first page so equals to dollar underscore post and the variable name that we gave in the previous page so it was dollar underscore get sorry yeah post and the variable name as p name so let me just write p name p n o p class p email and p m n o so let us write p name and then yeah close semicolon then dollar session let me just copy this part so that i won't have to write this again and again then rno for roll number equals to dollar underscore post and then prno from the previous one so prno okay so now i have to go for the dollar session again copy okay and dollar session and then a new variable name as class and then dollar post p class from the previous one so p class so dollar post in capital and then p class over here and then we have to close this so square bracket close semicolon now dollar session for email id so dollar session email then dollar post the variable name as p email from the previous one so email equals to dollar underscore post and then i will write p email inside the brackets so p email okay square bracket close semicolon dollar session and then let us say mob for mobile number so square bracket close equals to dollar underscore post and then pmno pmno whatever name we wrote in the first page we have to as it is write it inside the post brackets now let us close the php and then we will start html body and then from action we will connect the student3.php and then insert some values and in the next one we will use the session and post again and then print the values so body form method equals to post and action is student3.php so let us write it form and then method equals to post so method equals to post and we will write the third php name as student dot php so i'm gonna write action equals to student dot php student 3 dot php and then we have to insert marks of five subjects so i'm gonna type the first one and then copy paste and make changes inside that so let us close this one first enter so subject one and the input type text and the name would be let us say m1 so subject one input type equals to text input type equals to text and the name would be let us say m1 so that it will be easier for us to access it on the next page so name m1 Now let us just copy this Okay now let us make changes 
Sub 2, subject 3, subject 4, then subject 5. We have to change the name also because we have to access them separately. Then M3, then M4, and then M5. Then I have to make a submit button now. So after this, let us write a input type submit and then form close. So let me just copy paste from this first page to the second one so submit button nice now let us save this let me just make this fonts smaller so that you can see the whole script in one screenshot only so you can also take a screenshot if you want so let me just save this save as so let us write this as student2.php so here it is student2. It is a PHP. Okay, save. Now let us go for the new. Now let us write PHP first of all, then we will start the session and then we will add some variables and put values from the previous pages to this variables. So, first of all, let us start the session or resume the session. We can say so. Let us first of all write the variables. So dollar a b c d e for the five variables of of the previous page so let us say dollar a dollar b dollar c two three four five so there are only five over here so let me just check for this one also there are only five subjects so dollar a b c d e and then f g h i j k but uh, let us change the subject name so dollar m dollar n dollar o dollar p dollar q would be much better so let us change that so dollar n dollar o dollar p and dollar q So let us write dollar session and the name which was given to it earlier in the second page. So there were only five. So I have removed the dollar f from here. So let us start writing that session so dollar underscore session underscore dollar underscore session let us just copy paste this to our dollar b dollar c dollar d and dollar e and then for marks we just have to write the post so okay now we have to write dollar underscore post over here so equals to dollar underscore post and then square bracket open and single quote let me just copy paste over here and then we will write the variable names afterwards so now we have to check for the variable name that we gave them earlier so these are just m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 but and the names of the variables of first page are name rno class email and mob so let me write them first so here name and then dollar b equals to rno and then i will write class then i will write email and then i will write mob so rno over here rno single word class and then i will write email then i will write mob mob or mobile number then I just have to write m1 m2 m3 m4 and m5 then I will uh, close th these square brackets semicolon let me just copy paste okay last email mob m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 for the marks Let us save this as 
student3 dot php so student3 dot php and then we will receive in this we will print that variables in this third page so let us just start writing it so echo name and then variable so that the variable will be printed then i will use br tag to go to the next line and then email id class roll number mobile number and then in the next line after br marks of each subject so let us just write echo name dollar a and br so that the other stuff will be printed on the next line br then then email id colon dollar b so email id dollar b email id dollar b then i will use the br tag oh i missed the roll number once again so let me just go back before class and all I have to write the row number so here row number and then this would be the dollar b because earlier we wrote dollar b equals to dollar underscore session and then r a now which was holding the value of row number so br and then now I will write the class colon dollar c because dollar c was holding the value of class from the dollar underscore session class and then br email id colon dollar d and br mobile number dollar e so let me just make this look good mobile number and then dollar e and br tag so that the next info will be printed on the next line so br so now br then semicolon then i let me just make a section type something so echo and then i will use stars and then marks so number of stars then marks and then stars then i will have to print subject one and then its marks from dollar m and then subject to its variable so that the value will be printed so subject one colon dollar m and then i will write br let me just copy paste so that it will be easier for me to write it again br so subject two and then dollar n then br subject three br and then subject three dollar o and br subject four okay let me just correct that and subject four equals to dollar p and then br dollar p and then br subject five colon dollar q so this will make all of my marks and information to be printed so dollar q and then same column now let me just close this php and then let me see where this is first of all i have to move these files to the vamp servers folder so let me just let paste this let me just delete the student2.html that i created mistakenly so let us just delete this and then cut paste this to the vamp server www.php programs folder so that i can access it directly from the vamp server okay now let us go ahead now let me just write localhost over here okay 
now name then rule number is 40 so 40 and then in class I will write T by BCS in email ID I can I should write anything abc at the gmail.com and then mobile number is one two three four five six seven eight and then let it be nine eight then let us go to the next page okay there is okay, there is an error errors are like the essence of programming so let us just correct this okay on line six so let us go over there so let me open the file okay here it is on line six so the email it looks good but where have I made mistake okay here it is in P class I missed that single quotes so controllers let me go back and then I will come again with the button so subject one let the marks be 40 50 60 70 and 80 so 60 70 and then 80 let us go to the next page so here it is here is our report card but we are missing the percentage so don't fear about it we will make changes in the third php file and come back over here again so let us make changes in student 3 we first of all write br in front of student 1 because it was printing after marks and then on the next line i will write percentage so br over here then echo percentage and then i will make a new variable as dollar per and i will calculate it above only so let me just write dollar p over here dollar per and then semicolon then after m5 i'm gonna like calculate the percentage so it is the summation values upon total values in 200 so total would be 500 and by using percentage formula 100 upon 500 is 5 only so i'm just gonna write the summation upon 5 so dollar m plus dollar n plus dollar o plus dollar p plus dollar q and whole bracket divided by 5 so this will give me the percentage so let me just save this now okay let us go ahead go to next page then let us write again the marks as 40 50 60 70 80 so 40 50 60 70 and 80 then go to next page so here is our report card with the percentage thanks a lot guys for watching the video do like share and subscribe the channel and also comment down below if you are having any doubts